Um, so my name is James Powderly and I'm one half of the Graffiti Research Lab and um, we're a, an art organization devoted to making tools for graffiti writers. And, uh, right now we're using laser tag which is our open source um, wall drawing program which allows the graffiti writer to write on large-scale buildings as big as city hall or even as big as skyscrapers just using a laser pointer and some kind of off-the-shelf consumer items a lot of times we're not the ones making the art someone else is so right now there's a graffiti writer who's you know using the tool and writing with it not me really so there's actually a surprisingly large number of people who have played around with these tools and, and done things in public with them people have been projecting and people are projecting quite frequently there was a guy named Christoph Wojcicki who's the guy we've been lucky enough to work with who did this sort of work when you know, in the 60s and 70s when it was about the Cold War and politics in Europe and between West and East. And so it just, it's, it's now getting to be easy. So we can write this software and other people, it's not so hard to find a projector these days and hook it up. And it's not so hard to get a laptop virtually. Everyone has one and knows someone who does. So, yeah, it's the same thing as before. You know, you just copy like generations before you. You just have, have tools that make it much, much easier for you. So, um, we came up with an idea to make the software and made a rough prototype in uh, 2007 um, in February and tried it out for the first time in um, Rotterdam with a bunch of graffiti writers there. And so, the software has been developed over time. We've done it kind of all over the world at this point, but the kind of maybe interesting thing about it is we've released all the software online. So now lots of people run it every day from people inside their garage who just want to show their kid a cool piece of technology to um, other graffiti research labs, sort of splinter cells that use the software to do laser tag that have their own agendas in their own cities and operate, you know, completely autonomously to us. People do our project for us and uh, we kind of take the, take the credit online. At least our name's always in you know, someone's mouth. Yeah, that's laser tag. This is what it looks like. By holding your eyes still. And, and then once you make a point, you can drag a line from that to make another point. The iWriter project is um, something that was uh, uh, inspired by this guy, Mick Ebling, who got in touch with the Graffiti Research Lab and said, I have a, a friend who's a graffiti writer in LA who has Lou Gehrig's disease. And so for seven years, he hasn't been able to draw. And he saw our laser tag project and thought, something, you know, you hook this is something to the laser and maybe he can draw again. So me and Evan got in touch with um, three of our friends uh, and we called them up and said, hey, do you guys think that you can write software that could uh, enable this guy to draw? And they were like, well, what can he move? And um, the only thing he could move was his eyes. So we set out to kind of create a low cost eye tracking system. And um, so this is designed for someone who's paralyzed, but um, wants to still have you know, some type of creative life where they're drawing, making drawings. And specifically, this, the drawing software right now is designed to make like graffiti style letters. But um, we've released all the, the tracking code and the calibration code. And um, so people now can take that and kind of put it into their own applications, whatever they want to do. Yeah, yeah, everyone, everyone just likes graffiti. I mean, you know, everyone has their sort of stopping point. And it's true even with graffiti writers. There's people who are like, I like public art, I just don't like it when it's without permission. And there's people that I don't mind if it's without permission, but, you know, as long as it looks good. And they usually mean street art, you know, like posters and wheat pastes and 3D things in the street and, you know, just moving the art gallery outside type of work. And then there's people that like, oh, I, I like the street art, but I, I just don't like the taggers. You know, I just don't like the kids that tag. And then even amongst the taggers, they might not like really bad taggers and or 
uh, like gang graffiti and things like that. So, you know, you get down to some level and people stop and they're like, I don't like it. Because the basic impulse that you can do anything you want to someone else's property is very uncomfortable for us in the West. You know?